Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess. To Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary, Ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray to me, to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Attend to the pleas of your people with heavenly care, O Lord, we pray, that they may see what must be done and gain strength to do what they have seen. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. The Word of God is living and effective, sharper 
than any two-edged sword, penetrating even between soul and spirit, joints and marrow, and able to discern reflections and thoughts of the heart. No creature is concealed from him, but everything is naked and exposed to the eyes of him to whom we must render an account. Since we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast to our confession. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who was similarly being tested in every way, yet without sin. So let us confidently approach the throne of grace to receive mercy and find grace for timely help. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The decree of the Lord is trustworthy, giving wisdom to the simple. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The command of the Lord is clear, enlightening the eye. Your words, Lord, our spirit and life. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are true, all of them just. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. Let the words of my mouth and the thought of my heart find favor before you, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. Please stand. The Lord sent me to bring glad tidings to the poor and to proclaim liberty to captives. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went out along the sea. All the crowd came to him, and he taught them. As he passed by, he saw Levi son of Alpheus, sitting at the custom post. Jesus said to him, Follow me. And he got up and followed him. While he was at table in his house, many tax collectors and sinners sat with Jesus and his disciples. For there were many who followed him. Some scribes who were Pharisees saw that Jesus was eating with sinners and tax collectors and said to his disciples, 
Why does he eat with tax collectors and sinners? Jesus heard this and said to them, Those who are well do not need a physician, but the sick do. I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners. My sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning to all of you. Reflecting on our readings today, particularly the Gospel, I remember the saying that goes like this. Tell me who your friends are, and I will tell you who you are. I'm sure you know this famous saying, Sabihin mo sa akin ang mga kaibigan mo at sinasamahan mo, at sasabihin ko kung anong klaseng tao ka. It sounds judgmental, but this seems to be the way of the world. Parents constantly remind their children, choose your friends carefully. Don't hang out with people who are bad influence. Diba? Sinasabi natin, piliin nyo yung sasamahan nyo. Huwag kayo sasama sa mga taong bad influence. And indeed, we do choose. And, or we choose our friends carefully. And we do choose the kinds of people we hang out with. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus, however, in today's Gospel, shows us that He really did not have time for what other people would say in terms of the company He kept. He was not afraid to be seen with sinners and tax collectors, for these were the very people he was looking for, the very people he was sent to. At the end of the day, the only word that really mattered for Jesus was the word of his Father. It was for this reason that he came into the world to fulfill the mission of his Father, to call sinners and those who are in need of God's love and mercy. My dear brothers and sisters, let us pray that as we begin this new year, we may have the courage to follow Jesus' example in the Gospel today. May we find time or make time to be with the people who need us rather than hang out with people we need. At the end of the day, let us put more weight on what the Father will say to us rather than what other people will say about us.
Please stand. Christ came to call sinners, offering them salvation with humility of spirit, aware of his call. Let us bring our prayers to the Father. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may be seen as the healing home of the weak and the sin sinful, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who hold public office may be honest and faithful to their duties, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That consecrated persons like Mary may dedicate their lives to God and to the church through their witness of poverty, chastity, and obedience. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may look with compassion and understanding to those persons who are leading sinful lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may experience the saving power of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, direct the minds of those called to make crucial choices in their lives. Give them an understanding heart, sound judgment, and a burning desire to do what pleases you. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May your people's oblation, O Lord, find favor with you, we pray, that it may restore them to holiness and obtain what they devoutly entreat through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In Him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in His fullness. For though He was in the form of God, He emptied Himself, and by the blood of His cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore He has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey Him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep into the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, 
who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Peace be with you. Lamb of, Lamb of God, God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Friends, this is Jesus, our Savior, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to receive him. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Let us pray. Humbly we ask to you, Almighty God, be graciously pleased to grant that those you renew with your sacraments may also serve with lives pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.